To start the project, collect together the grids, some pens or pencils and a book or magazine article that you like. On a separate sheet of paper, draw out seven boxes. Under five, write the vowels A, E, I, O, U. Under the remaining two, you can write two letters of your own choice. These will be the colour code grid. Select seven pens or pencils for colouring in your coloured squares code. It's good to select five complementary colours and two contrasting ones as these will help you to create a bold overall design. Try and choose colours not too close in shade so this will help you differentiate each square. Referring to your book or newspaper article or poem, you are looking for the vowels and your two other letters within the text. You could underline the letters in each word to make it easier to follow your grid pattern. The first word in my chosen text is the word the, which is represented in my color code by the colors yellow, red, and the mid blue. Starting in the top left corner of my main grid, I then color in the first three boxes with these colors leaving the next square empty to leave a break between the words. The next word on my page is the word waterfall, which is, according to my code square grid, represented by a dark blue, yellow, mid blue, and then dark blue again. The letter A is the dark blue, the letter T, which is the yellow, and then the E, which is a mid blue, followed by the A, which is a dark blue again. I fill in the colours that represent the word, then leave a break at the end before starting the next word. To speed up the process, you could read one sentence at a time, scanning for the same letter, for example, the letter A, and filling the relevant square of the line with the relevant colour, which can then be filled in in one go. When you reach the end of a line, but you still haven't coloured in all the squares for your word, you can carry the remaining letters over to the next row, starting from the left side again. Continue in this way until you've covered as much of the grid as you like. Thanks for watching this short film. I hope you enjoy making the artwork.